today we're going to grub screw an ASA twin combi. This lock and most ASA locks in general are notorious for bricking when you gut them because of this anti-drill pin located in the core. We're going to grub screw it for two reasons. One, to make it easier to progressively pin because this is a very difficult lock to pick and you want to start a couple pins at a time when you begin to learn it. The other reason is so that every time we gut this thing to progressively pin it, we don't want to risk the brick that happens if one of these driver pins falls in the anti-drill pin hole. I'm going to show you the tools of the trade, how we're going to do this, and the proper way to approach what drill size you should use. And again, this is a twin combi core that has already been gutted. It's ready to go. We don't need the, the, uh, the actual core itself. We just need the housing. I'm going to wrap a piece of leather around the core so I don't damage it and clamp it in my vise. Now I've got a piece of steel underneath the core just to raise it up for video viewing purposes. The important thing is to make sure that you have something solid underneath the core so that when you hammer down to punch these pins out, the core doesn't slide. The way that we find out what grub screw size we should use, we need to measure the pins. We need to measure the drill hole. So I'm going to use a pair of calipers to measure fairly accurately what the hole size is. Okay, we're showing right at 0 0.130 inches and in millimeters that's about 3.3 millimeters. So remember that 0 0.130, we're going to grab a cap drill chart and match that up. There we go. So what we do is we follow our decimal side and again if you're in a metric using country, you'll use the millimeter side. We're going to decimal down to the closest thing that matches our 0 0.130. Right here, 0.1299 is as close as it's going to get. So the correct tap size is an M4 by 0 0.7. Again, if you're in a metric country, it's going to be 3.3 millimeters and an M4 by 0 0.7 tap. Let's say you're in an American and you only have imperial sizes available. They have this in an imperial. You do the same thing. You follow the decimal equivalent until you get to something close. 0.1285 is a number 30 drill, which corresponds to an 832 tap size. 832 is a little bit larger than an M4, so I'm going to use the correct one, which is M4 by 0 0.7. I have an M4 by 0 0.7 tap. I had to buy this one. You're not going to find this at a hardware store in America. These core caps here, look shiny, they look like steel, but they're not. They're going to be nickel plated or chrome plated brass and they'll punch right out. As long as you've got the core out down here, you can take a hammer and a punch and knock these right out. I'm going to use a three millimeter punch and punch them out now. Get my fingers out of the way. I'm not left handed. So if I smash my thumb, don't laugh at me. There we go. And the cap fell out. Let me see if I can get some tweezers and get that out. We'll see if we can get another one. Let me go ahead and finish tapping these out. We'll measure one just to verify our drill size. Let's grab one of these. I'm going to show you what this cap looks like. All it is is a brass cap. It gets punched in there. And we're going to save this so that we can measure it for a grub screw. Because you want to approximate the same grub screw size as the cap size. So that the spring pressures are the same. Alright, we've got them all out now. 
we will measure again, verify our measurements before we start cutting this with a tap. There we go. Well, I moved the calipers, but we were at about 128. Now we're going to take one of these caps and measure it. Because we want our screw length to approximate. 255, so a 6 millimeter is probably going to be close enough. So that means that when we thread this, we need to go down about 6 millimeter because we want the length of the thread and the length of the grub screw to be very close to the original length of this. So when I start this tap, I'm kind of guesstimating how deep to go because I haven't found a way to accurately mark a tap. I could put a piece of tape on here to approximate about 6 millimeter, which is about there. But we're going to go ahead and tap it. I'm going to get lined up. And you need to make sure that you're, you're vertical on each axis and align properly. I'm going to apply a little bit of downward force and start twisting this tap in. Brass is a very soft metal. It taps very easily. Once my tap is aligned properly, I'll start twisting to cut the thread. You want to back off every once in a while to clear the chips. Let's see if I got deep enough on that one. I did not. I'm about three millimeters right now. So I'm gonna line up again. All right, I think we're there. Alright, now we repeat that five more times. Again, make sure your tap is aligned in both axes. Because a tap will cut threads sideways. That squeaking sound means that I probably need some oil. But in the interest of making this video, I'm not going to oil it. I think I've gotten deep enough. Yep, I'm looking down in the hole, comparing the depths. They look about the same. Let's do the next ones. Don't be like me. Use oil. The depth is about right. We're going to put a little bit of cut and oil on the step. That just means we're going to have to clean it off later. Looks like we got deep enough. Do the next one. So don't just ram a tap down in there like it's a screw. You want to do about a turn, turn, half turn, and then back up because you're trying to clear that chip that's forming. It's a cutting operation and that metal has to go somewhere. Looks like we got deep enough. So notice all that metal forming on my on my tap. I'm going to take some shop here and blow it off. And we are done. Get my tap out of the way. Volume warning again. I'm going to blow this out with my air compressor. Want to remove any shavings, make sure there's nothing down in the core. What we're going to use for grub screws are these flat bottom M4 3 millimeter long grub screws because it's what I have. A 6 millimeter grub screw would be accurate. I apologize, I'm not centered. And 
and because these aren't as long as the original plugs, I'm going to have to screw them down deeper than flush. That one fit. We're going to show two things. I made a couple mistakes in how deep that I tapped the, uh, the holes. Let me get this out of the vise and show you. So you notice that six, five, four, three look like they're the correct depth, but one and two did not go as deep. To correct that, take the screw out, put your tap back in there, cut a few more threads. And now you have a fancy grub screwed acid twin combi core.